Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again from TroTech Laser. You know, I receive a lot of requests asking what entry level laser cutting and engraving system is a better return on investment? A Glowforge Pro laser system or a Rayjet 50 laser system? So I have put together a simple design file of a couple of playing cards to be processed onto thin cherry wood to compare the performance difference of each of these laser system brands. I'm going to show you the side-by-side -side processing of this design running each laser system at its max possible speeds at a similar resolution and we will see just how each of these brands compare on this application. Let's discuss each of the system's configurations so that we have a baseline for this comparison test. We are going to run the $9,990 Rayjet 50 with 30 watts of laser power and a honeycomb cutting table compared to a $5,995 Glowforge Pro series laser with 45 watts in a cutting table. Here is the design file that will be processed with a simple black engraving and a red cut line. Scan this QR code should you like to download the file. The material for this project will be 1 8 inch or 3 millimeter cherry wood. Here are the parameters that I have determined for each system after testing to find the fastest possible settings for this material at a close resolution. Here is the file ready to be processed from the Rayjet Manager software. The Rayjet job estimation shows the file should take around 4 minutes and 21 seconds to process. Here is the same file in the Glowforge web-based app. The file has been placed and the parameters have been assigned. The Glowforge estimation shows the file should take around 15 minutes and 32 seconds to process. Now I'm going to start each laser at the exact same time and watch each laser system process this set of playing cards side by side. I will show the actual speed of each laser system, then I will take the Rayjet to a 10x time lapse and the Glowforge to a 40x time lapse due to how much longer the Glowforge takes to process this application. I have also placed a timer at the bottom of the screen that has been calibrated to match the time lapse. As both systems complete the engraving and cutting of these two wooden playing cards, the Rayjet was able to process this project in 4 minutes and 20 seconds, and the Glowforge processed this project in 15 minutes and 26 seconds. The software estimation was pre-estimated very close in both the Rayjet software and the Glowforge software compared to the actual times to process this job. Now let's take a closer side-by-side -side look at the engraving details. The Rayjet produced a cleaner, sharper engraving than the Glowforge, and the close-up Glowforge image has a strange orange peel looking pattern in the engraving. Now let's take a closer look at the numbers to determine the return on investment for each machine. With these process times, the Rayjet has the potential to produce around 110 sets of playing cards in 8 hours of operation, or around 2,216 pairs to be run in a month with 160 hours of process time. Versus the Glowforge has the potential to produce around 31 sets of playing cards in eight hours of operation, and around 622 can be run in a month with 160 hours of process time. With these numbers, we can assign a fair price to this product to determine possible revenue generation. If we assign a price of $15.95 per set, the Rayjet has the potential to generate up to $35,345.20 per month, versus the Glowforge processing the same number of hours will produce up to $9,927.28 per month, making the Rayjet 50 more than three and a half times more efficient processing this application. There we have it, the finished results showing that the Rayjet 50 is the clear winner on the return on investment, even with a slightly higher initial price tag on the laser unit. Please feel free to order this material and download the file should you like to run this project. All settings and details to repeat this project are available should you like. If you have any questions on this project or the material used in this comparison video, please post them on the comment section below. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and see our website at trotechlaser.com.